Prosecutors are asking a Mobile County judge place a gag order in a high profile rape case involving two Spring Hill College students. They're claiming statements from the defendant, his attorney and the alleged victim could affect the case. Tonight, the defense is firing back. Disturbing allegations on a Mobile College campus. In March, Audrey Cox told Fox 10 News she was raped in her Spring Hill College dorm room after a night of drinking downtown. It was never consensual. The man arrested, Vasil Kokali, an international senior at Spring Hill, told Fox 10 News he was innocent. His attorney, Megan Doggett, saying Kokali passed multiple lie detector tests. He absolutely, adamantly denies all of the allegations. I passed both tests, so that just keeps proving that I'm innocent. New tonight, the Mobile County District Attorney's Office trying to stop any talk about the case in public, filing a motion for a gag order. Part of that motion saying, quote, the state contends that restraint is warranted in the instant case in light of the defendant's foreign nationality and the media publicity that this case has already generated, as well as the charges which have an inherent tendency to excite the public. The motion also references Doggett's statements about Kokali passing a lie detector test as a violation of rules in the case. But Kokali's attorney sending us this statement that reads in part, quote, we are objecting as a gag order is an extraordinary request that is not supported by case law and should not be granted. Kokali's attorney adding that their statement to media was in response to the alleged victim's social media campaign against Kokali, saying, quote, this is just a backhanded way for the state to attempt control and silence an errant witness and has nothing to do with me or my client. And tonight I reached out to Audrey Cox, the alleged victim. She has not responded. Mobile County DA Ashley Rich didn't want to comment, instead referring us to the motion her office filed. A hearing on that gag order is set for August 26th.